We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch. And the beautiful, radiant, hot, Baba. princess, Angela Stokes Monarch. With the Raw Food World TV show. It's a special day, isn't it, Bubba? It is a special day, but maybe we could talk about what we got here first. I haven't even had a sip yet. Is it, is it intense? I don't know yet. All right, let's take some. Quite intense. It's all right. What is it? Just garden greens? Yes. Lots of greens from the garden. With a few carrots as well, I think. Because you wouldn't know it. It's vibrant. It kind of burns because we just picked it straight from the earth. Organic, chemical free. Biodynamic as well. Biodynamic. I probably have really green teeth because I was eating spirulina before as well. It's all about the greens, man. And um, I got cut right here because I was playing basketball the other day and I got. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so it's hard to eat and stuff. You know what I've been doing, though? Because he gets inflamed and stuff. I actually had two cuts. I got this one from biting my gum, <laughs> and that healed. But it wouldn't heal because it kept getting inflamed, and it was because of the bacteria is what we were believing, right, babe? So what we did was we took the healthy gum drops by living but libations, and I would put it in my mouth a couple times a day to kill all the bacteria, and the pain would go away immediately, and it healed very fast. I'm doing the same thing with this guy now. It's cool. Yeah. Okay, so... Moving right along, it's a very special day today. Why? It was six years ago. Today. When I got the first email from a beautiful princess named Angela Stokes. Little did I know her name was going to change to Angela Stokes Monarch six years later. It's a very special day. That's that's just one of the things that happened. There's more. Why? Wasn't there something else? Baba. Luchita's birthday, right? But it was Luchita's birthday two days ago. Our little princess horse. She is two years old, and maybe we can show them a photo of how she looks now. Michael. Okay, so in your blog, you said it was like 10,000 things today, I thought. Baba, not be rude. I'll let her take it from here while I drink some juice. <laughs> it's two special things right now. Luchita came to us in February this year and she was like skin and bones and she was like pretty much a rescue horse. She was really stunted. She was 16 months old at the time and she was the same size as Cherry, our little boy who was four months old, the old colt. Um, so she's doing really well now and she's, she was just two on Wednesday. And she's still nursing from her mom, and she's a chica, isn't she, Bobo? I'm really excited to share a concept with you guys after we talk about Luchita that is amazing. But yes, this little horse, when we first met her, was skin and bones. And there was something special about her. She wasn't bitter. She wasn't angry. She knew that there was more to life than what she was getting, and she knew she was going to get it because of this peaceful attitude. And when we got her, she found what she was looking for. And she was never, a lot of the horses we have right now, you know, they were ridden, they were abused, that's what they do. They break them down so you could ride them and stuff like that. And, you know, if you ever think about getting on top of them, they get all upset because of that reference point. This one, <clears throat> yeah, there's no bitterness. She was just waiting. She's like an indigo. And Sally Joy, our new horse, is like, 
Lumerian indigo <laughs> Atlantean matricula. Matricula tyrant. Yeah. She is just crazy. She just like she's eating at like two days old. She just she just goes into her mom's bowl and just like <laughs> eats all of her saliva banana, saliva carrot. She nurses so much. Like every time I see her, she's nursing. And she just like nurses on our fingers. We just sit there like immediately. She's not scared. She just comes up to us, starts nursing on our fingers. And it seems like she might have blue eyes. We're not sure yet, but sparkly blue eyes. Yeah. We like the horses, don't we, Bubba? Yeah, her name's Sally. I almost thought that, like, for some reason, like, she has, like, a shazzy type attitude. <laughs> I almost wanted to call her shazzy, but we didn't do it. We just said, because I don't know how shazzy would feel about that. <laughs> wow. She's a little minx, isn't she, Bubba? She is a, she's a strong-willed little one. But so is Luchita. Luchita loves coming in our house whenever she can. Like, that door right there if we leave that open by mistake she'll just walk in the house and attack the bananas they're a giggle chop aren't they Bubba? and i have a concept that i'd like to share i think i'm right on this but you guys uh -oh. can tell me here we go get your left brains ready okay <clears throat> i heard a story Once there was a little horse. It was a blue horse. It was a blue horse. La 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 And then it met this horse. It was kind of a multicolored horse. La 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 And what happened was they kind of got together and they're And what happened was this one got pregnant. And these two were kind of really in love with each other. Uh, it was like yummers. They were like, oh, we like being with each other. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the yummers. Mm. Oh, crap. I did it wrong. Did I? I did it wrong. Let's start over. Okay. There was a blue horse. La, 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 la. And then there was another horse. And they kind of had like this little love thing where, oh, mm. and they got together. She wasn't that in love with him, though. That was the situation. She wasn't in love. Mm -hmm. There was just like, they, they, but she got pregnant from this horse. And then as circumstances changed, this horse kind of disappeared. And now she was an alone, pregnant horse. <laughs> and what happened was, a new fella came into the picture, and he's a nice white one, isn't he? Uh. Ooh. And they were kind of like, oh, hello. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. They were really, they like had this crazy bond. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. But she was pregnant, so there was no like any crazy, crazy stuff. But they were in love and they were walking around together all around the way. And they were together for many months on end, just in love. And what happened was, this horse was about to have a baby. And when this horse had its baby, although this is the one it got pregnant from, but they weren't really in love, it was just kind of like a one night stand. The horse came out not looking like the one, the father, the actual father, they're the biological father, but the horse came out looking like the other father. Uh... How does that happen? Energetic imprinting? Energetic imprinting, which they talk about in Anastasia. They do. So I've come to this conclusion that the more a child, I'm sorry, yeah, the more that a child looks like the father, the more that woman loves the father. Baba! Not be rude to everyone? And not, it's just an idea. It might not be right. Now her child's probably, our child's gonna be like probably a duplicate of her, and I'm gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> but it's just a thought. Bah, bah, you all know I've got all these crazy beliefs in my head and crazy stuff. I mean, this is just this just adds to it. You know, colonics. Everybody should be doing colonics. It's the most incredible thing in the world. They do talk about a similar concept as what Mr. Monarch was just jimbling about in the Anastasia books. It's true. I don't remember which book. It's not number one, but somewhere in there, she talks about the energetic imprint that uh, a father can have on a child. If I were to have a baby, my baby would look exactly like her. Why? Because I'm so in love with you. Bah, bah. Nah. Nah. But I'm a guy. Alright, so I think we've dazzled the crowd, our audience, for a good 10, 11 minutes. And finish my juice in that time. Chin chin. And who do we got here? Angela Stokes, monarch. And the fastest juice drinking person on the planet, Matt Monarch. And we'll see you next time at the Rocket World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.